very exciting. First time we are airing down with the caravan tires. So got a little bit of a corrugated road down here. So we're just going to knock them back to about 25. But I've got a little hack here. Since Josh has got the um, JR Brooks on the on the car, I have two spare now. Or well, have a spare one now. So I get one gone. Well, I get two gone at the same time. So makes it so much quicker than trying to do four tyres all individually. Alright, we made it out to Wellington Dam. We've uh, there's so many spots out here to free camp and it's got an absolutely beautiful day out here. The water's looking nice and crystal clear so really excited to get in and have a look. So. Still the guys in Big Oz, Chris and Sean, the kids, and we just found a bit of a spot here, this awesome little clearing here on the water. So we've had to nip down a couple of fallen branches over here so we can bring the cars down. I'm just gonna try and uh, try and figure out how we're gonna fit two vans in here, but if we nail it, uh, it should be pretty good. Now to first go, so that's one venting. I just want to make sure uh, that the airbags run a fair angle here. I'm gonna go all the way down the right. Up on this side. Have a quick look, but it looks pretty good. Yeah. Airbags for the win. All right, it's our first bit of um, fair, fair bit of dust we've gone through in the new van. It was actually quite, uh, quite dust in the way. We didn't get too much. So flick some, uh, flick some lights on here. In this van, we've got the, uh, we've got the caravan. So this is the caravan up here behind me. The last time we had the DRS, which is, uh, this is this is a 12 volt fan. So, oh, my car's turned the isolator off here. Oh, not that one either. There it is. <laughs> so there's roaring away, uh, pres pressurizing the cabin in here, uh, and pushing all the pushing all the dust out to pressurize it. So we haven't covered up any vents in here yet. I know we've got a gas vent underneath the cupboard there that's fully exposed. The door usually we cover that up. So we've left it all open uh, just to have a play around of it. But and we pulled up here again. We had we're going about 20 k's now, but thick, thick bull dust. And I can comfortably say there is not a speck of dust in here. Like literally, um, it's perfect. I'm really, really happy with it. So again, the the DRS did the well, uh, did the job as well. Uh, I think so far, this has been a little bit better. Again, just because that was such a we're going so slow on the way in. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really stoked with that so far. So gonna keep an eye out because every everywhere we go, we just want to really test this. And we did a video about the DRS on the Gibby River Road there. Uh, really good results. So we'll pop a link up over there uh, for that video if you want to go back and have a look at that. Uh, but again, I know the caravan's a little bit more expensive. What do you reckon? There's not, no dust near it. No, it's... And that was thick. DRS was amazing. It really kept a lot of the dust out, mm. but like, there's not even a speck. Yeah. Like, just knowing, just knowing that it's on all the time, like even on the highway, just being having it going in that and it's, uh, yeah, it's been grey out. So this is camp so far. We, uh, we had to be parked back a little bit further. I uh, just got a little bit more level and a bit more, a mm. bit better there as well. Uh, so we don't have any sun, which I don't think we're going to be getting. Uh, the batteries are full, but we're probably going to get no solar. But we're only going to be here for two or three days. So 900 amps of lithium batteries. Uh, you can park up in the shade for a little bit. So again, this is only our second free camp we've been to. So we're just playing around with all this stuff. Uh, I was going to set up camp out here.
are going on the Weber. It's been super handy having it on the pull-out slide this time around. Um, just quick and easy, pull it out, chuck whatever you want on, and it's good to go. George has been having an absolute ball here. She's like, finally, we're out of a caravan park. I can roam free. She's been chasing sticks in the water, chasing some ducks out there. Just about to chuck the drone up and have a look at what it looks like from above. as beautiful as this place is we're actually going to be moving on this morning so we've uh we both got a little bit of stuff we're going to got to do is now i need to find reception so we sort of thought we we're going to get some reception out here bits and bits and place bits and pieces around the around the dam you seem to seem to get a bit of reception but where we are here uh, we're not getting nothing so it's kind of a little bit annoying but again we're going to do a couple of days out here uh but you know stuff's got to get done so it's just this place here is absolutely beautiful the weather that we had last night was just the evening was just, I don't think we had one like this for the west coast yet, like it just, there was no wind, it was just the beautiful temperature, <laughs> this is something we've been wanting for so long, so we're going to head on today, we're going to head down to uh, Glen Mervyn Dam, so it's actually not that far down the road, uh, it's meant to be sort of same similar setup to this, so more free camping, uh, we can catch up a bit of work, do things we've got to do, uh, then hopefully get out and explore, I know there's a couple of full drive tracks and that around here, uh, so wouldn't mind getting out and doing that. And even on the bike, there's just so much pine country and meant to be uh, bike tracks everywhere. So again, the perfect ingredients for a good time. Let's go move on. Another beauty about the ATX here, again, you just saw the massive angle we had parked up when we were here. All we do is go auto level. It's gonna sort itself out for all my road pressures. Who needs bloody wheel chocks, eh? <laughs> This is not if you oh h and f oh h and s officer uh you won't like this <laughs> but this is the only way you can get up and clean the solar panels so now have a roof rack have a platform to clean the panels so ultimate solar so these are it is so we clean these and these vans on that you know we've only had it for a week and a half and uh this is just from a couple of couple of dusty roads and look how uh look how dirty it gets so i'm really interested we've been cranking the solar anyway we've been getting around that uh that 45 amps uh, off the off these panels which is good so Got nice sun now, so I just want to give him a clean to see if it really does uh, make much of a difference. Alrighty, all set up, camp set up. We've got us a nice sort of bit of shade coming here this afternoon, but the panels are still uh, still in the in the sun there. We're cranking in about, uh, we've got the air con going in there, so it's all closed up. We're still doing some work at the moment. So I've got the air con going, uh, charging the vacuum, charging the uh, laptop, charging, uh, running the Wi-Fi system as well, uh, all that sort of stuff. And it's drawing about 50, 45, 50 amps. So, uh, you with the solar smashing, it's not using that much at all. So once we get a hold of these external panels, uh, again, we'll be they'll hopefully give another 30 amps of solar and about to chase the sun. So really looking forward to that. But have a look at this, at this behind me here. Can't wait to get the drone up and show you guys the color of this water. It's just so clear down here. We've got this whole sort of whole sort of stretch along here. Our sales, uh, Chris and Sharm, still these guys, uh, the big Oz guys are just there uh, set up. So it's going to be 38 degrees here tomorrow. So pretty warm the last time we sort of went to that main uh that heat wave was a wind perth and on a concrete slab at the, the caravan park I had to share the pool with about 50 other people so got this big massive pool out here so really looking forward to that got the awnings awnings out a nice bit of shade right near the water so i'll pop a little wiki camps thing up here again this place is free so right just outside of collie so if you need you know stuff you need in town whatever we might even just might even slide into a pub later too been getting keen for a, a pub feed so we're definitely going to spend a couple of days here and again just trying to relax enjoy free camping right on the water nice weather the wind's actually 
put on a show for us now. Western Australia is trying is finally controlling their wind a little bit for now, so really gonna enjoy this one. Join another absolute beautiful afternoon out in the water here. I just I cannot recommend this place enough. If you're around the area, you just really have to put this one on your list. We just uh, Sharm was just inquiring before because this is still uh, classified as school holidays. I mean, we're sort of here mid January and film this and places along the uh, along the beach and bustled them. Uh, we stayed at one that was about forty four dollars a night. Uh, probably a month or two ago uh, and now it's up to $140 a night. I think that was then plus children or something so it's just ridiculous along the coast there. again they were up it for um, uh, for school holidays now which I which I fully understand but we just absolutely the, the wind last night was we had zero kilometers an hour Willie, Willie weather said zero kilometers an hour uh, and zero kilometers an hour uh, in Western Australia, does that even is that is that a record? Has that ever happened? I've never ever, <laughs> never ever thought that would ever be the case in our, our windy old Western Australia. So we're just uh, we're about to go down to the Mumby Pub. So it's only about four k's down the road. There's also well another place down there you can uh, you can just buy a feed there and stay out the back for free as well. So we're gonna head down there now. We'll have a good little sort. Of, I feel like it's gonna be a bit of that sort of outbacky style sort of old school pub, which is exactly what we like. So we're gonna go head there, head down there now, uh, have a couple of beers, and enjoy some dinner. It's probably the best lamb cutlets I've ever had in my entire lot. We were really debating for a while there. We were looking at the, oh. the minted minted lamb chops and then... Um, a parmigiana. You made, yeah, you made the, the final, the, the last <laughs> minute switch. You tricked me. I'm like, who ordered the chops? <laughs> <laughs> that was friggin' mint. It's nice, nice outback pub. Zero kilometer winds. Oh, it's, it is actually... Like, the weather's on point. Yeah. You got good company, good food, a nice little country town. There's not much more you can ask for, I'll tell you what. There's like 10 people in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and the coast is just like covered in people. It's just yeah. so nice. It's that cool after. I think it's warm enough to go back for a bit of a night swim. Well, I'm, I'm definitely considering it, that's for sure. There's a nice thing about sitting next to a, a, a body of water yeah. and having it right at your doorstep and just walking straight out. We did that last time. We went for a dip and we put the kids to bed. Yeah. Best afternoon I've had for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, a little bit of an exciting, uh, exciting day today. It's, uh, I'm sure you can probably figure out what's going on here. Uh, it's George's birthday, <laughs> so George's turned uh, turned nine years old today. So she's uh, she's getting on, but she's uh, I still think she's probably the the golden retriever that's travelled the most kilometres around around Australia. So she's still got a couple, still got a couple more laps on, I reckon. So we've got the got the party hat on. She's got a couple of couple of presents here uh, go, go, going on for the morning so gonna spend the day at the lake today um, again we're not we're not weird we're not weird dogs parents but of course she's uh she's definitely she's, our baby. A, she's definitely our baby and she's uh she means a lot to us and brings brings happiness to everyone everyone around us so got a few presents for it uh for it to open up we just wanted to share the moment with you guys and then, uh, then we'll hopefully have a hopefully have a nice day the weather's a perfect again today uh on the lake I love how excited she gets when she opens up, opens up presents. It's <laughs> it's so freaking like cute. cute. <laughs> she's always uh, when she gets new toys, she's always kind of she always acts like she doesn't really it's too cool for doesn't me. really like it. But then like give it to like maybe oh, halfway through the day, uh, she won't uh, she won't leave it alone. Do 
Joe. Yeah. Hey. You got this hey. one. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, look. It's a new color. Oh, it's very pretty. <laughs> Hey, happy birthday. Put it on. Oh. <laughs> Itchy. What's a birthday without a cake? So Georgia is getting her own pup cakes for her birthday. So I've just popped all the ingredients in there. An egg, some peanut butter, baking powder, and a mashed up banana. I found the recipe online. It didn't have um, the amount of quantity of each ingredient. So I'm just adding... Um, a little bit at a time, I'll mix it and I'll see how it comes up. But um, yeah, she'll be good and hopefully she likes them. First go and that's actually not too bad. So I think I'm going to stick stick with this mixture and I'll pop it in some little patty pans. So I got these ones um, just from like Coles or Woolies because they're like the hard case ones. Um, we don't actually have like cupcake tins like for the soft patty pans. And I'll just sit them in this and I'll cook them on the Weber outside. They're ready to go. Hopefully I put enough uh, baking pa uh, baking powder in it so they rise enough or hopefully I didn't put too much and they overflow but we'll see how it goes. Alright, on they go. See them in about 10 minutes. The cakes are done. Here they are. I was very wrong about the 10 minutes. I checked them at 10 minutes. They had rise, but they were still very gooey. So I just left them and kept checking on them every couple of minutes and it worked out to be about 18 and a half minutes altogether. So they're a bit crispy on top, but that's okay. I'm gonna do some dog friendly icing so you won't even see them. I've also whipped up just uh, some normal cupcakes. We're still with Big Oz, so I thought the kids might like to have some cupcakes uh, with Georgia a bit later on and keep the birthday celebrations going for Georgia. How did I do? What do you reckon? Awesome. She said, awesome day. Time for a little bit of birthday cake. You've done the big, uh, the big post with yeah, the with the cake and the things. I had to put a bit, well, I put a photo up of it. Yeah. Got a nice photo got of the, her. Got the shot of her with her cake. <laughs> a lot of, lot of effort into your girl's uh, birthday, haven't you? So. <laughs> She's been killing one of these all day. I know. Don't give one? Yep. Let's do it. How do I do it? Oh, it's all rip, soft. Rip the paper off. Oh, it smells. Has it got peanut butter in it? Yeah. They're all Can humans eat these? Yeah, well, yeah, but not, not the, the dog it's treat. got the dog treat in it, it now. Smells freaking so. good. It smells like banana bread. Oh, it's so soft. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Happy birthday. Well, I've snuck off a bit of a ride on the bike. I've ended up in uh, Wellington National Park. So it's only a sort of maybe 10 to 15 k's from where we're staying. We're staying at the other side of Wellington Dam. Uh, just the other day and where you can have dogs and that but yeah end up in the national park here uh just i went out for a ride just no i have no idea where i'm going i've just started to take roads and i've ended up here so i found a wiki camp so i've heard a lot about the leonard uh leonard four drive track which is just down the road which goes through this park here so i'm gonna go uh, have a, bit of a look at that i wanted to do it in the four wheel drive but uh here we are on the bike so we're found in uh, these rapids out here this water is just freaking absolutely rushing through we haven't seen this much well i haven't seen much, this much water uh, in a while you can obviously see how much it does come up here when it's uh when it's really 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 wet but it's just rushing down in here i'll get a bit of footage for you come down here smash it in there then go going out to a big pool uh big pool out there so it's absolutely kill a day for a bit of a swim as well so it's a bit of a it's a one-way track through here and it seems to be quite a few things that dart off and have a bit of a look so i don't really have much I, i've roughly heard bits and pieces but um so so I've come out for a look. It's an absolute pleasure to do this on the bike. There's so many freaking awesome spots like this along this track. This water along here and that is just amazing. Just hearing the water and seeing it flow down there. It's been an absolute pleasure going along here. Sort of really want to get in and have a bit of a swim, but then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be freaking all wet. Like have a look, have a go at this down here. It's just nice and nice and deep. The water's pretty much uh, pretty much crystal clear. Have a look at that. The track's been fine so far. Like there's, there's maybe one or two hills depending which uh, which way you're coming from. Uh, you maybe one maybe one low range and like a little bit of clearance, but pretty much bugger all. It's just a nice little nice little scenic you drive. You're not going to get nothing too gnarly when it's in a when it's in a national park. But look at that, just roaring down here. 
give you a look or give you a little look around but <laughs> what a freaking day i'm having an absolute ball out here I'm wearing my, uh, still got my old jersey on, but I'm wearing my new, uh, my new Fox Legion uh, gear today. So I'm still not, to be, not, meant to be, not meant to be wearing these yet until uh, my new jersey rocks up and my signing jar on there. Uh, but I got two pairs, so I'm like, nah, I need it, I need it, I need to take a set for a spin. But for the guys out there that are, that do, does do trail riding that, uh, these are sort of a bit more of a, uh, the heavy duty ones for out in the bush down here. But the main thing I wanted to wear these for is, look at this. Got a freaking pocket because I always take my phone on me and um, when I get out take some photos I'm more so importantly use the maps. So I used to have to always undo this, undo this, take my camel pack off, check it for a quick second to see where the hell I am, and then chuck it back on and do it all up again. So <laughs> just the first time I wore the pants today, it's been an absolute freaking life. So then I got some little vents. So if it's cold you can close them up. I've got the vents open, it just gives this nice little breeze uh, up on your legs there. So handy little tip if you are there trail right now, quite a few blokes out there. I'm uh, really loving the loving the riding and getting out. So freaking loud! I can't wait to wear my new uh, new boots and helmet. Well, that was a freaking awesome ride. Look, I've just got to the end of the track here, and I didn't just the gate that I went through at the start. I didn't I just rode straight through? I didn't pull up and uh and look at anything. But it actually, says in there uh, no motorbikes and no quad bikes. But usually when they're those signs, that means no unregistered motorbikes. I'm um, fully registered, fully licensed, and all that stuff. But uh, you have to look into that one unless they're trying to not just not have you know I guess having groups of motorbikes going through because it's pretty. Uh, pretty tight and that which uh, which makes full sense and I fully agree with um, but yeah I didn't see one one car through, <laughs> through the whole time just cruise through but um but yeah uh, it could be it might not be recommended having motorbikes going through there so I've done it now I've cruised through so there's no no hiding from that but uh, if that is a if it is the way it's meant to be I do apologize about that but uh, I've just cruised through uh, absolutely love it again this would this track would just suit like you know if you've got a uh, you know, just a brand new stock dual cab or something. Want to go out on some nice, easy tracks with some uh, with some awesome views. Uh, this is the one for you. There was a, there was probably depending which way you do it. Um, the last hills went up there. That was quite. That was actually quite steep and quite slippery, even on the bike. Uh, that's probably your probably your main challenge. We just saw oh, that water along there. I'm starting to get really hot. And I can't wait to get back and get in the dam. But uh, that water along there was just absolutely beautiful. And seeing it flying over the rocks and out there, uh, really really nice place out here. I'm sort of sort of really want to bring the car back Yeti but uh after this we're heading back uh heading back into town and then uh then heading south unfortunately but what an awesome day it always uh, just having this bike with me uh, I'm just so 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 grateful to get out and do this stuff it just god it makes me happy <laughs> well it's our time uh, here at Glen Mervyn Dam done and what a such a shame to leave. I it's, know, it's been beautiful here. The water's right there and... So nice. And there's so many others like Stockton Lake. There's, there's always other lakes around here yeah. that uh, we'd love to go and see. This is probably going to be our last uh, dam for a little bit. We're going to, after this, we're going to head back to the... Head back into town. You would have already seen the caravan run down by now, but we're going into town right now to clean everything up. And film it. And film it. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to, the, the hip camera's saying they've letting us use their bloody pressure washer and everything on this nice 
beautiful green grass. I'm actually really excited to go in and give it a <laughs> give it a wash. Now it's got a, got got a bit of dust on it, so it's been awesome to get out, experience the battery system, how this thing's going, yeah. and that before we film it. So I've got that little bit of a little bit of real life uh, feedback already. So, but again, just the weather we've copped out here, we've been absolutely. It's been hot, but it's perfect because we're right near the water, so we can just go in for a dip and. Oh, it's yeah, been yeah, it's, it's been been, really been absolutely absolutely beautiful. So yeah. again, guys, put on your list, put it on your list. Uh, yeah, maybe avoid when it's you know really really busy. I reckon it'd get pretty full on and run out of spaces pretty quickly but again awesome spots just off the road or somewhere just over there so really love this place and then yeah we'll pack up and uh, see where we end up next We've come for a bit of an afternoon and drive out to the Mundaring power line. So these are sort of the main, we've been hearing a lot about this place. As soon as you get the perf, like, oh, have you done the power lines track yet? So it just seems everywhere you go, if there's power lines, there's going to be full drive tracks and motorbike tracks there. So got uh, got Chris from Big Oz behind us. He's got the kids in them as well. Uh, Sean's back actually uh, at the van editing some of their videos. So their YouTube episode, so she's not out here for the afternoon. But just come out for a little look. We've been up in the way, it's been fire bands lying around here. So we've got a day where we can uh, come out. So we're about to head south in the next couple of days. So we're like, nah. We need to go check this place out, so we're keen to get into a bit of full driving. Alrighty, looks like we've found uh, exactly what we're looking for. We found a nice big hill here, there's a few different tracks everywhere. We're trying to take the hardest line possible. Some nice flexi section here. I'm gonna stretch the legs on the big girl.
<laughs> Loves a wheel lift. Just walks through it though. Oh, that was some decent wheel lifts. Oh, that is freaking grouse. That was big. <laughs> All right, a nice little little rock climb in. She's slippery as hell. Go back as a knot. Just a little metal piece on there. Yeah. Is that there? Just that should be enough to pop you up, hopefully. There we go. Yeah. That didn't work. <laughs> Is <laughs> it much I can go and left it all? And try uh, and fly yeah, you can. Just once you get up, you'll have to turn, turn right. So go back a bit. Yeah, we're there. Yeah, go left. Stop there, go back a notch.
Yeah, they then just pop it over. Yep, we're right in down. Yep, we're straight now. Yep, left hand down. Yep, we're right, we're just going to hit the ground. Go, 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 go. Go left, go to left. Go up. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's all good, it's just that bit of... That, 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 you just, it's just that bit there? Yeah. It's amazing what can hang up a bloody car this size. Bloody isn't it? eye. All good? Good. That was scary. Yeah, I was fucking shit back here too. <laughs> That one's pretty gnarly. It's never going to look like it on camera, but it's quite a, quite a steam. These cars are so big, trying to get through there. Just one little mistake, and she's big panel damage. So, sending Chris up now. Go left a little. Well, we finished off the track. It actually went for friggin' ages. It's quite, this is probably the longest, just talking to Chris, that's probably the longest track or drive track we've done in so long. A lot of the ones have just been up north, are just like your yeah, sort of just quick little loops and that. So it was, uh, that was actually awesome. It felt like a really good adventure going through there. So we pretty much did most of them that we could. Like there's a couple of gnarly ones there. We are, uh, one at the end we did miss, it didn't get on camera there. I uh, went out for a look, but just Michaela wasn't really that confident, spot, spot me through there. So we left that one alone, but it's a couple of other ones there. Um, just yeah, just so thin, like these, obviously these cars are a little bit wider. Uh, it's just not really just worth having a go just to, just for the hell of it, just yeah, risk, risk that real bad panel damage, because you do have to remember uh, that we are on the road, on the road full time, but we definitely got a good nudge. Corrugation for a while. <laughs> Chris, I haven't talked about the corrugation. So Chris actually chucked a, chucked a little bit of a dit in this side door there. Uh, so just a tiny little bit of damage, but all good. So absolute awesome day. It's getting hot now. I'm so keen to go back, swim, uh, cover, crack a couple of cans.